because uh, I'm gonna. I'm glad I came to you here. You'll see that some of these numbers here are, are you're gonna be like a little bit of a deja vu. Let me just check. Uh, 135. Uh, Galatasaray versus Sparta Prague. Galatasaray are at plus 140. Sparta Prague are at plus 390. Galatasaray to score twice at minus 135. Looks like you'd way you'd probably start this. Can you tell me a little bit about Sparta Prague more than what we would normally know, please, Alex? Because Galatasaray, they have pushed some good sides at home in the Champions League that now you're thinking to yourself, listen, I'm not a Galatasaray fan. I think they're they're overrated, but against but say below average opposition, the minus one forty might be a don't complicate it. Well, Sparta Prague uh, made it clear that uh, uh, they are a good team uh, uh, because they finished above Betis. Uh, okay, let's say that Betis uh, are were very bad uh, in the first uh, half of the season, but still Sparta Prague fighting there for the first place. Th that group was um, uh, was very uh, balanced, well balanced, with Rangers, Sparta Praga, and Bet Betis fighting for the first two spots. Uh, although um, even even Betis went uh, to qualify in the Conference League uh, playoffs from the third uh, place from the Europa League. So it's very complicated what is happening with this new format with the Conference League, with the Europa League, third places. So, and it will be even more complicated what will happen with the Champions League uh, uh, next season. Uh, uh, they, I, I'm not sure if they announced uh, that they are letting that go or they are still uh, continuing with that new project of the Champions League, like, um, like a league format. Not like a group stage format. But uh, yeah, Sparta Praga, uh, in the past, uh, in the last three, four years, they used to have a lot of uh, Brazilian players, you know, African players inside their team. Right now, it's uh, mainly uh, Czechs. Uh, I'm also visiting uh, uh, Prague in uh, two weeks' time for, uh, for different for reasons, weekend. cultural for reasons. For, for cultural reasons. Yeah. How does that help us here? <laughs> it is uh, a sta it's the stag do capital of Europe. It is that one of, Budapest. One of the, yeah, it's one of the uh, best uh, towns, uh, in my opinion, Prague. Uh, mm -hmm. But also it's a good beer there. So uh, <laughs> that, that is one of the main reasons why we are going. Uh, but yeah, Prague uh, are a well-built team, uh, very organized, uh, uh, very That's interesting player, players players going forward that very uh, um, that, that that midfield does all the work for them um, they are the type of, they are playing the type of style as Leverkusen in a way but not th uh, that yeah. high right high, but yeah. still uh, uh, still they got uh, they they have some interesting players uh, they can score goals. Uh, they demonstrated that uh, in the group stages of Europa League and on the other side uh, of course, you have Galatasaray who signed a lot of, uh, let's say, former stars, uh, Mertens, Icardi, uh, Demir Bay, because we just talked about Leverkusen. They have uh, uh, Carlos Vinicius also, uh, Zaha and Dombele. So if, if you think about it, they should have no problem in, in winning uh, the, the Turkish league. Uh, they are fighting with Fenerbahce for, for that reason. Alex, but, is Sparta uh, Prague going to be under the cosh here? Because Galatasaray yes, will play on yes. the front foot. Uh, Sparta Prague, yes. are they good enough in the central areas? Because if yes. they're not, then Galatasaray scoring twice at minus 135, you don't even have to worry about who wins. I think that they are good, but uh, I think that the pressure will be too high. Uh, you know that uh, uh, the game will be... Uh, uh, sold out uh, like the Turkish fans will will create a, an amazing atmosphere. You know that they will push Galatasaray's players from behind. They are amazing at home. Uh, they they show that uh, in the group stages. Um, I think that uh, they are one of a kind when it comes to um, playing on the front foot uh, from this part of the world. Uh, and I think that that is a really good uh, option in my opinion. Minus one thirty five for Galatasaray to score twice, but I also expect uh, Sparta Prague to score uh, on their own. So again, oh, I think yeah. that uh, this game, minus 122 for over 2.5 goals, 
I think that the Galatasaray will win this match. So you can com combine the money line here, Galatasaray to win and over 2.5 goals in the match. I think, yeah, Galatasaray minus 140 looks like a way to go. But Galatasaray, I fancy, will concede. So, I mean, is it like a gimme of both teams to score and over? And then, listen, it could even be like a crazy 2-2. Sparta Prague, in recent time stinch, they have shocked a few sides with the way they play. Yeah, I I, uh, I definitely think Galatasaray are a bit short here at uh, minus money. I'm surprised to see them at that. I do wonder if it's uh, something to do with the fact that obviously you know Sparta Prague haven't been playing as many games. I mean, in Turkey they play on Christmas Day. You know, they don't even they don't even take Christmas Day off, which is mad. Um, and also maybe the market swayed a little by a little bit by the fact that Galatasaray are coming out from the Champions League. Um, so they may, maybe they think that sort of magically makes them better. And obviously they're very uh, top-heavy in terms of the, the attackers that they have available to them. Um, so for that, that means that, yeah, in my opinion, there's a great chance to get with Sparta Prague in some way here. And because Galatasaray is sort of weighted so heavily, I think it means that there, does, there is some nice value on Sparta Prague. My, my go-to bet really every time of Galatasaray is both teams to score. Like, they give you so many chances at the back, yeah. but they have so much attacking firepower. It's just an obvious, obvious bet. They played against a third division team, I think, in the Turkish Cup last week. It was 1-1 by half time. You know, they'll give anybody a chance. Um, yeah. 18 home games this season, Galatasaray, 14. Both teams have scored in. You know, that's ridiculous success rate. Normally and before half time, you're right. You are right, though. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they play, it's normally like, oh, so there's another bet. Go over one and a half first half because Galatasaray could be two up. Go they over two one up at down. minus 120. Go over one at minus 120. And then you've got one as a push. You're, you're, here, yeah. you're on it here, Stinch. You're on it. Yeah, and Sparta Prague themselves, uh, eight ga only eight game sample in Europe, but six of them saw both teams score and all four of their away games. So don't see any reason not to back both teams to score. And I, I got it at minus 125. So, you know, I'm not... Not, I don't even need three goals to get a payout as long as no team keep a clean sheet. So, yeah, that's, that's easily my best bet on this, uh, this week's Europa League. OK, so we'll look at the official picks, please, because uh, I know that Alex and I did leave it alone, even though I favour goals again. Both teams score minus 125. A little look at that, though. Over one goal in the first half, because they do start right with that crowd. And listen, Sparta Prague can catch you out if you leave the back door open. Well, Galatasaray have no back door. They don't even bother with a back door. They just all bomb forward and they haven't got the legs to chase back. I mean, it could have been four all in the game when they hosted uh, Bayern Munich earlier on in the season. Uh, so.